We're in Madrid at the Fuse event. I'm here with Jose Antonio Aranda, who is Global Innovation Director at Cellnex. Jose Antonio, great to see you in person at last after so many virtual conversations. Hello, yes, my pleasure. So uh, at the Fuse event, it's all about open networking. Uh, from a Cellnex perspective, uh, how useful could open networking systems be to your business? Yeah, you know that <clears throat> the tower business is more a passive infrastructure business and therefore everything that has to be with the active role it doesn't affect much to us and that has been true so far but we expect that that will change in future you know that with the acquisition of some of the active equipment from our police operations in Polcomtel these start changing so we see that this new trend will increase the amount of vendors that we will find in the market. It will also uh, give the chance to have more options uh, to choose. It's true that still uh, our customers prefer the traditional uh, way of doing uh, things and, and therefore buying equipment from the traditional vendors. Uh, but little by little we see this changing slightly and we have a lot of expectations that uh, this technology will impact uh, enormously. It's true that we need to still evaluate the integration part and how these in will impact in the final product. Uh, but yes, I think it's a very interesting trend uh, to uh, survey. Yeah, well, integration is certainly still the, the, the main buzzword that we're hearing uh, at this show. But things are moving pretty quickly in the open RAN segment. And um, in your view, have there been any really significant advances or developments in the open RAN sector, say, during 2022? We expect so, and we are a little bit disappointed. Uh, we, we thought that open RAN technology uh, will be more disruptive and uh, will progress more. Uh, we have seen great uh, announcements about uh, the radio interface controller, the application, and we have been trying to uh, start seeing that for real. It's true that we, we miss a little bit of more acceleration in this technology. Uh, also, concerning our business that is sharing, uh, we see as well that open run and sharing is something that at, at the moment is incompatible. Most of the open running uh, technologies and the requirements for developing their systems do not have into account the sharing capability. They have other uh, things in mind. Uh, and, and therefore, we see that this is coming slower than uh, what we thought. Uh, the, it's true that we have been doing several uh, initi uh, initiatives across uh, our operations. Uh, in Spain, for instance, we have been trialing open rank technologies with uh, uh, some vendors. In the UK, we have been very active. Uh, there has been a frank uh, tender where we applied uh, to investigate about uh, open rank technologies and we are also implementing open rank technologies in private networks like uh, what we are doing in the Port of Bristol. Uh, but it is not something very disruptive at the moment. Um, so what would you like to see in, say, 2023 and beyond? What, what would change things for you? And you mentioned there you know, sort of uh, RAN sharing and that cropped up uh, already uh, at the Fuse event as something that the operators expect to see and say that they would like to see in the future. Actual, not just passive infrastructure sharing, but you know, the sharing of, uh, of active infrastructure, of the antennas, the radios, and the baseband just and just uh, being different from the containers that are on the service. Is that a reality or is that just a bit of a pipe dream? Uh, we, we, we see this as um, something that will come in future, uh, but we don't see many mobile operators relying on third party like us, a neutral host, uh, to uh, maintain and to operate their active equipment. It's true that uh, according to uh, the, the words here, it seems that that may change and we congratulate uh, that that will happen uh, because we are uh, extremely uh, at disposal of the mobile industry uh, to play an important role. Uh, we already have a, an agreement with Polcomtel in uh, Poland uh, where we not only provide uh, the infrastructure, uh, the passive infrastructure, we also are in charge of the active equipment. Uh, but we enter in that market not because we wanted to uh, be owner of the active equipment of one mobile operator. We wanted that because we wanted those equipment to be shared with other 
mobile loss op operators in Poland. And that's what we are exploring. We are not there. We haven't signed a, still an agreement in Europe uh, with two mobile operators, but we really believe in the economics. We really believe on the business case. Now that the ARPU is not growing, it's an opportunity of saving uh, with other means and saving CapEx uh, with neutral hosts and sharing. I think is uh, one of the key promising trends that we expect to see in 2023. Okay, yes, those economics might drive that forward um, uh, a little faster. Uh, and just finally, is there anything that, you know, uh, as a shared infrastructure operator that you would particularly like to see from the open networking community in the next couple of years? Anything that would particularly help your business? Yes, so uh, we see a, a potential opportunity on sharing edge computing capabilities. It's true that's something that is not on top of the agenda because mo most of the mobile operators are considering the, the run sharing or even the mock sharing. Uh, but as the mobile operators start uh, putting applications on top of the uh, network, uh, and as the mobile operators start considering deploying more and more edge data centers, uh, it may come at a point where additionally to have a neutral host like us providing the walls uh, and air condition for a specific space, uh, does it make sense for an entity like us to start providing servers? Uh, so they can share also that service and we can make a, global, a scale of buying service on behalf of the mobile operators so they can use. Or uh, to your point, uh, can we grow also in the value chain and uh, instead of selling service, can we sell containers or NFVs? That's an, another possibility. And that's what uh, I hope to see in 2023, mobile operators willing to share uh, not only space in the radio, but also space in the edge computing. Well, it'll be interesting to see if the operators uh, do move forward in, uh, with that sharing mentality that is perhaps a little bit missing today. Uh, Jose Antonio, great to talk to you today. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you very much.